Welcome back. At once. The next quest we're going to do is a farmer's plight. So it starts down here. So we're going to do most of the tasks and quests in this area so we don't have to backtrack too much. So we're going to go kill the ogre. If you're playing a, a class that isn't tanky-ish, you might want to consider resolving this fight through non-violent means. So we're going to rest up, get Reading. a bonus. Alright, Just gonna get some camping supplies. So you have to rest a couple of times clearing the cave that he's in. Gods keep you. So, uh, going to the crossing. So the caves are around here, and from the previous two quests we did, we've cleared this way past the broken statue, so we'll just follow the same way. So the first thing is a pack of spiders. Oh, here they are. So I like to bring them up to this little land bridge here. So you can stick it up. Get them as fairly single. So it looks like just by pulling them back we were able to separate them, so we can do that a little bit. Th the main reason is that we get two charges of Flames of Devotion each time.
So as you can see, just even one or two fights, you lose your maximum health quite quickly because of the uh, poison. Look there. Alright. Go in here. So, there are two packs of spiders, one at 12 o'clock and one at 3 o'clock. They can both chain aggro, and once you're in this cave, you can't go anywhere. So we're going to use our summons and try to minimize the amount of actual melee damage we take. I'm going to take a little bit of food, just mostly for the constitution. So there's usually a patrol that comes along here, so we just want to wait for him to come. Yep. Head right back. Okay, we didn't pull them all, but uh... Not a sound. We want to try to pull the pack. See. All right. So you, 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 you're making sure you're quite careful with not aggroing the pack up the front and aggroing the pack to the right. And uh, we should be fine now. It's very easy to get swarmed by these and... Uh, So I'm bringing these right down to prevent them pulling any more from the north. So we should get a big pack back, here. Back where you came from. We'll see what we get. Ha! Got that single, that's good. Ha! So you want to wait for the next patrol? Just waiting for the next one to come. I think there's one more patrol.
Yes. So the reason why we're one of the reasons why we're clearing all the spiders in this hallway is you can actually reset the ogre fight. So you want to be able to I'm here. do that without aggroing a whole bunch of spiders. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, we'll rest up. We'll eat some food. Alright, so we're going to do this ogre fight. And if things go a little bit... If things go a little bit pear shape, but we're not quite got on top of all the the bears, which is usually the case, we can put a, our zealous charge on and we'll move around the cave and reset the fight. And then rest again and finish it. Okay. a bit by trying to focus on the weaker bears. So I'm keeping an eye on how much damage I'm taking. I'm 
here. So I'm gonna bail out of this fight. Alright. So we did reduce the numbers that we had to deal with, so uh We've got all our summons again. Not a sound. Back. Back where you came from. I'm here. So this guy hits particularly difficult, <laughs> uh, particularly hard. I mean, so just keep an eye on your life, and if. I'm here. I got those, but I got those on day 17. Okay, we're going to head back to town and hand this quest in. So we're back in town. Let's go finish off this quest. So by killing the ogre instead of uh, letting him guard your stronghold, it does allow you to to get a blunderbuss, which is pretty good stat-wise. We won't use it on this character, but uh, there may be some runs where it's actually useful for you. Welcome. So it has quite a lot of bypass damage, 
and for something that does six projectiles with that high bypass is actually quite good plus it's got bonus damage right, thank you I'll see you in the next not a video. sound